Hello, there is Fimpossible Creations and in this tutorial I will show you how to make free model of the tiger move more naturally. We will start with this, then end with that. To achieve this we will use packages like free ground feeder, tail animator and spine animator. All of them are available on the asset store. So let's get started. There we have simple scene where I have set it up object which will move, third person camera from my other package fbasic assets. Let me show you how object will move. In a moment we will replace this box with a tiger, but first see what ground fitter is doing. So I can move with WSAD keys and object is trying to fit to the ground with the rotation. I can sprint, jump, so just basic movement, that's all what we will need. And of course, your setup can be different, it's just my basic approach for the tutorial. So let's get rid of the box and let's import our tiger model from the asset store. This asset is called Golden Tiger, it's made by Zales Interactive. Let's import it, find it in project and put inside scene. Let's attach it to our movement object and reset position and rotation of the tiger. It's a bit small, so I will scale it up for our tutorial purposes. Now we will set up animator for the ground fitter, because ground fitter script is using clips which have name idle, walk and run. So we remove not needed ones, and then we will add parameter called animation speed to the animator and set it to 1 then apply it to movement clips as animation speed multiplayer ground fitter is using this animation speed variable to speed up and speed down animation when creature is decelerating or accelerating we apply animator to the model and let's check if everything is working. So for now we just set it up animating the object and moving it. But I see that walk animation has something wrong in it, so let's check the animation clip, which is here. And the, the length of the animation is wrong, let's fix it. It should go to there. And yeah, now it's working. Ok, now let's check how it looks with fixed walk animation. Ok, this will be base for our improvements for the model. First thing which we will do will be setting up tail with tail animator. To do it we must find tail bones. And let's check armature of the tiger. And I found empty objects which are doing nothing. These are probably objects from animating software which was helping animating the tiger, but inside the Unity they are useless. Now we finally have bones which are affecting the model. Let's check which bone is which. So here we have bone with the tail inside. Let's unfold it. And here we have our tail bone. And all what we need to do is adding tail animator to it. These bones are animated by the animator, so we add tail animator blending. Uh, hit connect with animator, so tail will try to follow animation from the animation clip on the tail, but also add own procedural motion to it. You could notice that when we are running the tail is stretching, we can fix it by lowering value of max stretching. Stretching is helping animation to have more smooth feeling, it's just a trick, which is making digital animation more pleasant to see. You can customize motion of the tail, using the animation parameters, you can make it more stiff, more smooth, to behave like underwater or pushed with the gravity. There is a bunch of effective parameters with which you can play around and customize tail motion to your likes. You can check my other video where I am describing how which parameter is affecting tail chain. So after tweaking, 
we copy settings in play mode then paste in edit mode so everything what we were doing in play mode is saved. Now let's set up spine. Let's add spine animator. First we need to define chain of the spine bones. We will start with a pelvis and go to the neck. Here tooltip is saying that first bone should be pelvis in which are legs and spine. Let's find it. And it's probably this bone. Let's check what is inside. Yeah, there are legs and rest of the spine. So our first bone in the chain will be pelvis bone. Then when we hit L button, there will be shown last bone of the chain. It's just to help you go through the hierarchy. You have to find right bone anyway. But in the newest version of Spine Animator, Components is trying to find the right bones by names automatically. We have our neck bone here and our pelvis bone. Then we can hit get. Now chain is created. Let's hit play and see what we've got. Spine animator is doing its work, but we should change motion of a spine chain with animation parameters to make it more likely for this animal. Let's crank up straightening so spine will be animating back to the initial rotations when tiger is moving. Let's find the best value for it. I think this will be enough. Now let's not use it and focus on the angle limit of the spine segments using angle limit parameter. Like name says, it's limiting angle between the segments all the time. Limit smoother is making these limits go more smooth when the angle limit is heated, giving more natural feeling for this. I think this setting will be okay. There is also option slittery, which we will use now. Creatures like snakes should have this parameter set it up to the max, but in our case it will give better results when it's lower but not too low. You can go to the zero to clearly see what it's doing. I will tweak it a bit more to shape motion as I feel it. We will try using head bone as last bone in a chain. Other thing we can do here is using main pivot offset parameter so we're just changing origin for the rotations to help motion start more from the last bone in a chain, like head in our conditions. But to reduce snaky effect even more, we can remove some bones from the chain. Then chain will be less dense. Then we see that limitation ranges react too sensitive. So we have to adjust it a bit. Okay, I think it's alright. Let's copy settings in play mode and paste in edit mode. So everything is saved. And that's how we made this animation it started to look like it should be looking. So with this tutorial you see that you can use spine animator and tail animator on any model in use with just basic movement controller without root motion on other stuff. Also, you don't need to have ground fitting rotation like I have here. It's just helping a bit. Without fitting rotation spine animator will work like this. So you can work with Spine Animator on very basic movement. And this is the end of the tutorial. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it or if this video helped you. Subscribe for more. Hit the bell for notifications about the new videos. And see you next time. Bye bye.